In this module, I'm going to walk you through sharing your Outlook calendar via email. Through Outlook, you can share your calendar with users via your email. This feature makes it quick and easy to schedule meetings with others and also keep people up to date with your appointments and scheduled meetings. As a note, any items marked as private by default will not be shared on the calendar. This means that as you're going through and setting up appointments, if you do not want them shared out, you'll want to mark them as private for the range that you'll be sharing. So let's go ahead and get started and share out our calendar. First thing we want to do is make sure we're in Outlook. We'll come to our calendar. And if you have multiple calendars, check the calendar that you want to share out. We'll make sure we're on the Home tab. Come over to the Share group and click Email Calendar. This is going to open up an email and also the send a calendar via email dialog box. From here, we're going to select all the information that we want to include in the calendar that we're sharing out. So we'll start at the top with the calendar. If we hadn't already selected our calendar, we could come here, click the drop down, and choose our calendar as well. Our next option is the date range. The default is whole calendar. If we click the drop down, we can choose today, tomorrow, next seven days, next 30 days, or we can also specify dates. We're going to choose specify dates for this example. When you do that, it's going to ask you to pick the start date and the end date so you can tell it what range of dates you want to include in the calendar that you're sharing out. For this, we're going to do March 6th through March 30th. The next item we need to choose is the details. What do we want to include in the calendar that we're sending out? Now, by default, it's going to show full details. This will include the availability as well as the full details of the calendar item. That means it's going to include the body of the item, the subject, and the location. If we click our drop down, we can choose availability only, which is going to show the time as free, busy, tentative, working elsewhere, or out of the office. Then we have the option of choosing limited details which will include the availability and the subjects of the calendar items only. We're going to go ahead and do full details. Next, we have our advanced options. So we'll click the show button to get to our advanced options. And here, this is where we would click to include items marked as private. So if we wanted to include those in the calendar that we were sharing out, we would check this box. Our second checkbox is to include attachments within calendar items. So if any of our items had attachments on them, we could check this box to include them as well. Our last option is to tell it how we want the email layout to be. Do we want it to list the events only, or do we want to show the daily schedule? For our first one, we're going to do list of events so you can see what that looks like. Now that we've got everything set, we're going to click OK so it goes ahead and creates the appointments. Now it's gone ahead and created our schedule that we're going to share out. You can see that it's attached a copy of it so that they can open it from here as well and save it into their Outlook. In the body, it's added the calendar of events. You can see each of the items is listed from my calendar. My private only shows it as a private appointment so that they know that I'm not available that time. Here's my calendar. These are hyperlinks, so I can control click on them to get to the details here. I can also hyperlink on each one of these to get to full details. So for instance, the weekly status meeting that I clicked on, it now takes me in, it's showing me the time, the subject, the location, the recurrence reminder, and also the body of it. This is the body or the details of it, the project timelines, budget updates, and client follow-ups. Now I would go ahead and choose who I'm sending it to, send it out. We'll come over to my email. Here's the work schedule calendar that I shared out. And you can see how it's listed when it's opened up. And there's the calendar that I could download and open in my Outlook. Now let's go back and do another one. So we're coming back to our Outlook. Make sure we're in our calendar. We're going to do our work schedule again. So we're going to go to the Home tab, Share Group, Email Calendar. And again, it's going to open up the email and give us the send a calendar via email dialog box. So here we would choose our options. We've got our calendar already set. We're going to pick a range. Let's just do the next seven days. This time, let's go ahead and keep it at full details. 
We'll come down to our advanced, click the show, and we're going to tell it to include the details of items marked as private. And instead of doing the email layout list of events, we'll switch it to daily schedule so that you can see what that will look like. So let's go ahead and say OK. It's added it. Again, it's attached it so people can download it and add it to their Outlook. But then if we come down here and look at this, we've got our seven days. And here, because we told it to show the daily schedule, it's breaking it out and showing all the times, whether they were listed on our calendar as an item or if they're free. Here was my private event listed out because I told it to include them. So it's going to list out all of our free times as well as when we have appointments. And again, control click will take me down and show me all the details. I can go ahead and send it out. So let's go over to our email. Here's the work schedule calendar that we just sent out. And there we have it again. So remember, you can share out your calendar, and when you share it out, you can share as much or as little information as you want when you're doing it. Remember, it's done through the Home tab on your calendar, the Share group, and Email Calendar. This is going to give you the Send a Calendar via Email dialog box where you choose exactly what you want to send and how you want to send it.